Okay, it should be working now. I'm hoping it, it's working now. All right, let's start. What is going on, you guys? Welcome back to the comic corner. Sorry about the technical difficulties. We we were streaming, but then we we weren't. It was weird. I don't know. But anyway, welcome back to the comic corner. I'm your host Jesse. Man, oh man, tonight. Whoo! Tonight we've 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 got you know we've got some stuff to do. We've got some. You know, this is my little drawing glove. We're gonna be doing a little bit of a little bit of coloring and drawing and things like that. I did up a little thingy just before the stream started. Um, for those of you who follow me on my Instagram, it's kind of related to what I posted about just before going live tonight. So, you know, theorize about that. Those of you who are on my Instagram, all two of you. Mm. But yeah, hopefully everybody's having a super good day. I had a pretty good day. I had a pretty, I had a pretty chill day. I always have a pretty chill day. I don't know why I ever try and say anything other than I have a pretty chill day. Um, <laughs> but no, I had a really good day today. I, I didn't do a lot. I, <laughs> I hate when I say that because I don't want it to seem like I, like I'm never doing anything, you know? Oh my goodness. Snapchatting me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> There we go. <sighs> okay. Sorry about that. Anyway, I, I hate saying um, I didn't really do anything today because it, that's... That's true and it's not true. I'm, I'm usually being hard on myself when I say like I did nothing today. When in uh, reality, I I did do things like I did do stuff, but I'm being harsh on myself by saying like you didn't really fucking do anything today, did you? <laughs> um, the corner's a little messy right now. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. There's like a can of root beer on that desk back there. Speaking of which, I'm trying to still trying to save up. Ooh, let's just adjust the camera. So that good. We're still blinking. We're still recording. Nothing's wrong. We don't have any malfunctions this stream. Not like last week, guys. Not like last week. All right. All right. Um. So yeah, we've we've got quite we got quite a lot of you know we got a lot of stuff to do tonight. So we're doing that uh, drawing and coloring and stuff like that of um some comic stuff on my. I'm over here doing this, but you guys can't see that because it's down here. Um, oh, excuse me. Root beer, man. Root beer. But yeah, we're doing some coloring and we're doing some drawing and stuff on a, on a thing. Um, and then we're going to be talking about WandaVision. That's kind of the big thing that I was selling the night on. Um, WandaVision predictions and stuff. Um... So I'm fairly certain I know a lot of what's going to happen, but I'm st it's going to be super cool what does happen. So this is your warning right now. Spoilers, possible spoilers for a show that's going to be out in like four days. So if you don't want potential spoilers, you know, I'll, I'll have it all time-coded at the bottom. No, I guess I really wouldn't. If, if you're scared of spoilers, this isn't today's stream, you know? This isn't tonight's stream for you. It's not for you. I'm sorry. Oh my god, Charles is here. <laughs> my cat, Charles. What's up, little partner? What's up? Do you want kadosh? Annoying? You just being annoying. Hold up one second. One second, guys. So fast. Go. 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 
do. This is not what I wanted tonight to be. I don't... Fuck is fuck is wrong with you? This is my kitty Charles. Not mine, but he's my buddy. Oh my god, you're ruining this. You're ruining this super dope sweater. Anyway, we're doing that. We're going to be doing one division talk, um, flash predictions, and then we're reading through issues. Fuck off, Charles. <laughs> putting you down. Not as in like, I'm, I'm, I'm putting him, I'm putting him down on the bed, not killing him. There you go, little dude. You can hang out over there. I'm gonna end up trying to get on this chair. I know it. I know it. <sighs> anyway, yeah. And then we're reading through issues three and four of Amazing Spider-Man. So, I think last time I would have shown it off. Yeah, so issue three, we're dealing with Dr. Octopus. That's pretty cool. Um, and I think at this point is when they started doing instead of two stories per comic for Spider-Man because starting out Spider-Man was just like they didn't really have full confidence in what they could do with that character like they they knew they had a big hit on their hands they just didn't know like oh my god why is my desk falling apart <laughs> it's not really falling apart it's just one of the like screw caps or whatever those little like plastic thingies that you put over the heads of screws so that you can't tell that there's a screw there, even though the bump always bothers me way more anyway. Anyway, so, yeah, they started just giving more, like, story to Spider-Man, because they, they were more, they started to get more confident with, like, what they could pull off and stuff like that with the character and things like that. So, yeah, we're dealing with Dr. Octopus in this one, and then issue four... I'm not going to spoil who it is. But it's a classic Spider-Man villain. So, you know. Classic. Classic. And hopefully he's played by John Cena in the, in the Marvel movies. That's a big hint. <laughs> That's a bit of a big hint. All right. How long have we been live for? Seven minutes and 46 seconds. 49, 51? The fucking timer on this thing sucks ass. But yeah, how have you guys been today? How's, how's it going? What's up? Oh, I hate myself. I hate myself so much. Um... Amazing Instagram. I posted today? No fucking way, dude. I used your app to post out things on your app. Fucking nutty. I wouldn't have known that. There's no way. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, when we get to about 15 minutes is when we'll jump into reading comics and probably talking about one vision and stuff. I'm going to repeatedly do this to my lip here because I have a thing. Charles, why? Why on God's green earth would you do that? Why? Now my drawing pen is gone. <laughs> I hate this animal so much. I don't actually, I don't actually hate it. What did you do? Fuck, man. Why? <laughs> Actually, why? You're, you're a little asshole. Go away. Here I was thinking I'd bring you on. We'd get like... A cute little, like, moment together where I, like, hold you. Like, the fat little baby that you are. No. You're here fucking my shit up. Yeah, thank you for stopping by. 
Goodbye. So yeah, I don't know if you guys could tell, but I'm more of a dog person. <laughs> oh man, oh man. Oh, oh good golly. Oh gee willikers. Guys. Oh dang. Oh diggity dang. My cousin just messed. Those of you who don't know, this is probably like a little bit of a life story. Again, I'm going to be doing this thing regularly because I have a little, I have a little spot on my lip. I'm never actually going to pick it or anything like that. That's fucking gross. Do that on camera. Because then you guys are going to only pizza face and shit like that in the comments. And I don't need that. I don't need that. All right. I don't need that. I'm aware I have acne. I'm aware of my faults. Um... Anyway, yeah, so for those of you who don't know this about me, um, there was a... How long was it? I know it was supposed to be six months. I think? It supposed to be six months, right or At one point in my life, I was going to do flight attending. Um, so I went to Flight Attendant Academy. Um, but that meant having to move out to the city. And I didn't really, at that time in my life, have the money to be able to afford an apartment on my own because in the city, believe it or not, apartments are way more expensive than they are anywhere else in the world compared to like rural air or rural areas and things like that. So I basically, uh, I'm going to use the, the term bunked, but I don't think that's what I actually did. I, I basically rented out a room of a family member of mine, my uncle and my aunt who are super cool. And I love them big time. I really appreciate that they let me crash at their <laughs> at their place. And uh, my cousin, he gave me his whole room. It was super dope because I was super comfy with sleeping on their couch. Their couch, dude, was badass. I want a couch set up like they have when I get my own place. It was awesome. Um, but anyway, yeah, there was this there was this chunk of my life where I was I was in flight attendant academy, and that meant that I had to you know live with live with them in that apartment and stuff like that. Um, beautiful place. I really like the vibe of apartments. I like houses way more, but apartments, you know, they just give me that good vibe. I think I just like that idea because I remember visiting Becca at Acadia all the time and being like, I like this. I like the idea of just like having <laughs> an elevator to take you all your different needs and things like that and having like, you know different rooms for things it was cool it was cool anyway um and during this time when i was living with them in this apartment me and both my cousins both my cousins um got to like socialize with each other way more than we had lately um which was super dope like we always got along well whenever we hung out and things like that um but for reasons that it's not my place to say um, you know, just life got in the way, I guess, or whatever. And we hadn't hung out in a while or whatever. So it was really nice to have this period in my life, um, as short as it was and shorter than it was supposed to be. Um, we all got to hang out and do stuff way more. And it was, uh, it was super cool. Super duper cool. We played Mortal Kombat a lot. Uh, I wanted to play Injustice <laughs> because I, I thought that's how I could bridge the gap between oh, excuse me me and my cousin's very keen <laughs> fixation on like physical violence and stuff like fighting games and shit um but i love mortal kombat mortal kombat was super fun and he had mk10 back that back when that was a big deal when you were one of the only people in the world who had mk10 and like everything unlocked and all that stuff he had all that it was super dope it was super super cool do I have this way too close to my face? Is that what's happening? I don't know why. I keep looking over at the viewfinder here, and I'm not getting the vibe that I used last week. That's okay. That might be it. This makes more sense. This makes me feel a little bit better. Okay. Here we go. Um, as stated last week, this is a website that survives off of the ads. So... Things are going to pop up. 
I remember um this comment that went out on YouTube and it was one of the companies of the ads that showed up and I like closed out of it immediately. And it was that YouTube channel that commented on the video and they did a timestamp comment, but it wasn't at all when their company showed up. I just got super weirded out by the comment. They they put it at like 030 or something like that, which wasn't even when I was on screen. Like the, the face cam wasn't even. Anyway. Anyway. So yeah, man, this is the first time Dr. Octopus ever happened on the Ju on July 3rd. You know? <laughs> I don't believe this Marvel.com thing was part of the original print, but uh <laughs> but you know. Oh got a hentai. <laughs> Am I gonna get taken down for saying that word? I hate. Right now it's literally the only place that I know how to stream things to, but I fucking hate Twitch so much. They can take me down if they want to. Do whatever they want. I could st I could still record these and just upload them to YouTube. Because I don't like doing streaming on YouTube. I just haven't figured it out yet. Twitch is just more my comfort zone, I think, right now. Twitch is kind of f fucking people over on YouTube levels. And I'm not big on that, you know? I'm not big on that. I mean, it's so weird knowing, like, what you... Like what you can and can't show, and what you can and can't say, and then one you can and can't play on your stream. Because what's his face at the DMCA or what the fuck, or the DMCA strike that you can get? Like they went unnecessarily hard on people, and now that's just a thing. You can get like arrested just because something showed up in the background of your video, but it was because it was part of an ad on YouTube. Like those lo-fi mixtapes that I play in the background of streams. If an ad showed up for like Grubhub or whatever the fuck that stupid Uber Eats wannabe, that actually does sound kind of better. If it had a stupid fucking like modern pop song that's on the radio right now, I'd get swatted for it because of like... That's a song. When I say get swatted for it, I'm exaggerating. I don't think they can actually swat you for that. But the threat is definitely there. <sighs> okay. Let's... Reading our first comment. So I'm going to put in the timestamps when I'm doing them. This is our first comic. This is also when we're going to start our WandaVision talk. Our predictions for WandaVision are just seshing out about WandaVision. You know, just, just geeking out about it, saying everything, predicting some stuff, and just, you know, doing a little bit info for people who have asked me questions in private and then weren't able to show up to the stream tonight. I will be answering the questions. Um, so yeah, this is your final warning, basically. <laughs> if you don't want potential spoilers for WandaVision, or if you're just not interested in that, then tune out. Uh, I guess that's it, tune out. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Um, so... Uh, so WandaVision comes out on January 15th. I don't know what day that is for you, whenever you're viewing this, or whenever this is going live. It is right now, January 11th. Four, four days from now. This Friday. I've got it marked on my calendar. I'm hype as fuck. And I guess we could start with um, the main question that I got asked a lot. Because a lot of people didn't know that it was like happening which is weird but i can understand why because not everybody like pays attention to youtube tr like movie trailers that are on youtube only like unless they're in the movie theater people don't get a chance to see movie trailers or pay attention to them not that they don't get a chance to see them 
because you know they probably get it through like their 15 second ads on youtube and stuff like that but you know some people don't some people just aren't subscribed to marvel or, or you know or just don't have the uh opportunity to like keep up to date on literally everything the way i do but i do that as like second language like that's just you know with my right hand, I'm I'm doing like comic book stuff, and I'm I'm reading and things like that. With my left hand, mm, mm, this is a bad analogy. I'm not gonna we're gonna pull away from this one. But you know what I mean. It's it's second nature to me to just be always up to date on what's what's happening in the hen house. I am the fox. Um. So the main the main question uh, that I got asked was like, what the fuck is going on, bro? I'll tell you what the fuck's going on. <laughs> so just like as a like a like a way to like pitch the show to someone who's new and wants to get into it, like be like gauge whether that be so. By the way, my hair looks fucking messy, but like awesome. That's just my vibe lately, messy but awesome. Anyway, um. If you if you want to just like pitch the show to them and see if like that's something that like catches your interest. So it's after the events of Endgame. So Vision's dead. And we'll get into the explanation about how he's back and stuff later. But essentially what the show is is it's a parody of different eras of sitcoms. So like one episode's going to be about like the 50s kind of sitcom. So like the original Adams family and stuff like that, black and white, things like that, you know. Um, and then you're going to get into like the sixties and then the seventies and, and stuff and so forth and onward. Um, and it's with Scarlet Witch and Vision. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Um, and that's your, that's your pitch, right? It's, it's a parody sitcom show with like darker things happening in the background here's where my predictions are going to start kicking in so this is stuff that is seen in the trailer right you see a scene you see a, a bit where um scarlet witch is like putting her hand out towards this like glowing yellow stone thing and that's because it's it's the mind stone it's very obvious it's the thing that is in vision's forehead um so a lot of people's question is like, how is how is he back? Because the Mind Stone, you know, got destroyed by Thanos or whatever. I don't have the exact answer for that. I have a I have a fairly decent guess as to what that probably is, because what we've been basically hinted at towards uh, a big inspiration for this show was a story called House of M, and House of M. I'm not even going to like talk about what happened in House of M, but to just sum it up, it's a story where you see Scarlet Witch's abilities just like pop off, you know, like just get nuts, like insanely OP because that's the truth about her character. She's like ridiculously powerful because of her, her mutant ability to do stuff and the fact that she's like studied black magic and stuff like that, like dark arts and, and, uh, the mystic arts and things, kind of like Doctor Strange. Um, in the MCU, she doesn't have that per se. It's entirely based on her mutant powers, even though that like, we haven't been told that's what she is yet. But that's what she is. Um, and what should I? There we go. Boom. There you go. Speed. Um. But what what my guess is, is that because from the trailers you're gonna get the vibe very much that it's like a Truman Show kind of situation, and I think it is. And you know the obvious question is gonna be like, well, you know who's doing it to them? Like who's holding them prisoner and stuff? But the one I'm worried about is how is Vision there? You know, is Vision real? And he seems to be. He seems to be. Like I said, there's that shot in in the trailers where she's it looks like she's putting back together the mind stone 
which I don't put it past her. And I think that's what's happened. I think what it is is she's more or less um, done, like, pulled a House of M situation. But instead of, like, creating this, like, alternate timeline where, you know, there's more, there's less mutants than there used to be in the world or whatever, like, the mutant population is decreased. Instead of doing that, like, in House of M, what happens? I think it is just, like, through sheer, like, will and stuff subconsciously or something like that. Because at the end of Endgame, she seems pretty well off. Like, she's, she's still upset about it. Like, she just before she got snapped, she lost him. But when she comes back and they have the funeral for Stark and her and Hawkeye have that talk or whatever, she seems fairly, like, not over it, but, like, she, she, she seems to have, like, settled with the fact that he's dead. That uh, Vision's dead. However, Scarlet Witch's powers have always been like and always um relied heavily on like her like emotional state like her deep down like subconscious emotional state Sorry, I had to bite. and um i think that's how vision's back i'm not sure that sounds pretty dumb but like i'm pretty sure that's how vision's brought back um because I don't, here's the thing, I don't know if this is permanently bringing Vision back. I don't know if this is, like, how he gets brought back to the MCU, or if he's ever coming back at all. Because I don't really know a lot of stories where they could continue to have Vision other than this. If I'm being brutally honest, Vision is not that monumental of a Avengers member, you know? His big deals are... The fact that him and Scarlet Witch got married and they have children somehow. Um, but other than that, there's not a lot of stuff. There's that uh, animated next Avengers movie or whatever where he plays a bit of a bigger role. He plays like their... I don't really know, actually. He plays like a MacGuffin, I guess, in that movie. But, um... So yeah, I don't know if this is how they bring him back fully. Because I don't know what they'd really need to do with him after this. But if he's brought back, that's super dope. I love Paul Bettany. He's playing the character really well. I love his take on it and stuff like that. Um, and if he is back, that's super awesome, you know? That there's potential of him showing up in other Marvel team-up movies and things like that. That's super cool. If he's not brought back, if it turns out to be like the curtain is pulled back and all of it was a dream or some shit like that, you know, which is, it's basically going to be like that. That's my prediction, but it let's, you know, let's keep it to this subject. If the curtain gets pulled back and it's like, it's all a dream. He was never really there. And he's actually just always been dead. Scarlet, Witch just made a vision to fulfill the need of that, you know, filling that void in her life. Um, then I don't think that's going to have any merit to it. It's not going to have any, like, emotional impact, really. Because we already watched him die. So, you know. Um, it's kind of how I feel about... There's some people who are like, yeah, Secret Wars is the next thing, and then they're going to bring back Iron Man, and they're going to they're gonna bring back Steve Rogers from being old, and they're going to bring back Iron Man from the dead. It's going to be awesome. And then they're going to kill them again at the end. I'm like, hmm... It's a, it loses its merit, you know? <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know what they're going to do with Vision at the end. A lot of this is just about, like, what I think is happening in the show. Just predictions. It's just theories and predictions and stuff like that. So that's what I think about Vision. I think it's just she brought him back. And whatever happens after that, I have no fucking clue. But it'll probably be the right move. Um... Yeah, so it's a very Truman Show kind of, like, vibe, you know? There, it In the trailers, it very much is, like, they're being, like, forced to play these roles of, like, sitcom characters and things like that. Like, that's why 
you get like their neighbors and stuff like this saying um like they don't know who they really are and then freaking the fuck out and then turning back into sitcom kind of like silly characters and then you also get like their neighbors being like are you here to save us and and then they they blank and then they turn back into sitcom characters again um and then there's the stuff with their how their homes and their neighbors houses and things like that where they like glitch out with the tv static and then they like add color to it like full wizard of oz you know like they go from black and white to in color um it's very clearly a, a truman show kind of situation now here's my prediction um because the easy thing to do would uh pull something from the comics and say that it's agatha harkness who's behind this all um those of you who have no idea who agatha harkness Agatha Harkness is Agatha Harkness in the comics was basically this babysitter for Wanda and Vision's children whenever they were busy doing Avengers stuff or you know just whenever they needed a babysitter they had Agatha come over and Agatha turns out to what you end up finding out is she's one of the people who taught Scarlet Witch black arts magic and, and you know and dark dark magic and stuff like that so she's like as powerful not as powerful she's almost as powerful as scarlet witch just because of her devotion to to mist guards and stuff like that um so the easy thing to do is pull that from the comics and say like agatha's behind it all because she plays the like the um the neighbor kind of character from every sitcom or whatever who's just always poking her nose into the business of everyone else's stuff and um the easy thing to say is like yeah this this neighbor that you thought was your buddy and you've had neighbor or you've had been your neighbor since you moved here and you've had baby sit your children is the villain like the whole time the whole thing's behind the whole the whole shtick is agatha you know being pulled by agatha um she's the puppet master of the whole thing that's the easy route you go with and that's fine that's totally cool that introduces audiences to a new character from comics and stuff like that that's super cool that's fine what i what i think they're gonna go with is i think the tw the big twist of the show because that's just it it's gonna be a big twist when you find out who's really behind it i really think it's uh, her. I really think it's Scarlet Witch behind it all. And I think, again, because, you know, there's comic history to support this. Scarlet Witch's powers have always relied on her mental state, basically. You know, how she's, like, doing, you know, like, <laughs> I don't know how to say it without being, like, offensive or weird about it and i don't want to be you know how depressed she's feeling or you know stuff like that um how she's feeling like subconsciously like even as much as she like say she's doing fine you know it's you know, like if you're how are you really feeling kind of stuff right um But yeah, so essentially I think it's Scarlet Witch subconsciously is making this whole town, you know, fulfill this like happily ever after fantasy. And they say that in the trailer, in one of the trailers, they say that like happily ever after line. And I think it's her behind it all. Um, I don't really know what the whole TV static shit is about. That might just be what um what the fuck it's a they call it a thing in the comics it's a uh, we're not gonna be able to, i could google it on my phone it's they call it her chaos magic or something like that i forget i forget what it called. but there's a there's a power there's like a a power level that scarlet witch taps into and it's that amount of magic or whatever and it 
it it warps reality and it has this like funky look to it like it looks like lego blocks or whatever in the comics at least like everything just comes apart like tetris pieces and things like that uh, uh hang on question Go here we go here we go. Uh. God damn this. Oh. Yeah, it's chaos magic. Okay. That was a that was a roller coaster that took way too long, bro. Um, my apologies. <laughs> I just had to make sure like I wasn't saying the wrong thing about that. Anyway, so chaos magic like like disassembles the fabric of reality basically and that just might be what the mcu's interpretation of it looks like it, it makes it look like tv static and stuff like that so yeah so i think because i think the big journey of wandavision is seeing like scarlet witch's powers get to the levels that they are in the comic books i think that's what this is about kind of like how all the disney plus shows are about these characters getting to the point where they should be so like falcon and winter soldier is about um sam wilson living up to the role to become captain america like he is in the comics or the loki show is about the audience getting their fix of loki being the god of mischief and then working his way back to being the humble loki that we saw get killed by thanos in Infinity War. So I think that's what WandaVision is. It's it's this show that's about the journey and progression of Scarlet Witch's powers to get to the point where, you know, the big reveal is that, like, yeah, she's been able to, like, rewrite all of reality in her sleep with chaos magic, and that's just what it looks like. It looks like TV static and stuff like that. Um, because her base desire is to live happily ever after with vision. So I think that's what it is. I'm fairly certain that's what it is. So yeah. So yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay. But I think that's what it is. And you know, that that ends up with her being the 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 big bad guy at the end of the show, but that doesn't mean anything. It's just, you know. <laughs> um an easy way to to prove me wrong or to attempt it because I have a retort to this. Come back to my theory about Scarlet Witch being the the actual villain or whatever. Um, is you can take that clip from both the trailers where it's Vision and he's talking to Agatha and she's in her car and she's asking him, "Are you guys are the Avengers? Are you here to save us?" Marvel has done this before. Marvel is very good at the way they edit their trailers and the way they like cover things up with cgi or the way they just um order scenes from the shows into the trailer to make you have a different assumption about what's going to happen so i think what that is is that's going to be the moment where you do find out who's behind it kind of and it's She's saying that to Vision and just Vision. Um, 
because you know it's not exactly public information that they're together like that uh wanda and vision had a <laughs> you know had a relationship when they were running off during the secret avengers phase of of the mcu which is the phase in between infinity war and civil war which is where the black widow movie takes place and stuff like that i refer to that as the like secret avengers era because it it's basically what that is after captain america at the end of civil war breaks out all those people who were who were locked up in the raft um you know he assembles his own team of superheroes to still fight stuff fight crime and shit so he's got falcon black widow and then well throughout that era of time that we have no movie about until the black widow movie we have no clue who is, who else was on that um secret avengers team we can assume uh scarlet witch was and we can assume that hawkeye once in a while probably helped out but you know there probably wasn't a lot of them but either way it wasn't public information the way other things about the avengers were that scarlet witch and vision were a couple that they were romantically interested So I think if if what I'm predicting is right, Agatha's saying that to Vision as in just Vision because in th it's really not true. But in like thematic theory, he's the only one there who could fight her because they're both powered by Infinity Stones. Which is... Which is ridiculous because we we saw how them fighting goes in uh, Civil War. As little as they actually fought each other, you know, we saw how that went. And even if he was boosted, like if if he had his abilities boosted, he does not. He doesn't stand a chance. Not a chance against Scarlet Witch. Mm 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 mm. Yeah, there you go. There's my there's my prediction for that. Um Oh, someone asked me about what the uh what the baby crib and shit is about, you know, the the scenes where they've got kids and stuff like that cuz that's what's going to happen. Um Again, for those of you who who don't know, that's um there that's Obviously, it's been interpreted in different ways, but I'm assuming it's going to be um their twin children their twin boys um i forget their actual names but it's it's wiccan and speed as their superhero names and wiccan is a mutant like his mom who basically is on the same level of power she oh he's actually a bit more if i remember right because there's an issue where they compare him to franklin richards Who's like uh, like God, like next to God, Franklin Richards is, and I can't wait to see him in the MCU. But yeah, if I remember right, there's a there's a debate about Wiccan being more powerful than Scarlet Witch or something like that because as powerful as Chaos Magic can be, Wiccan is just like his mutant ability is to be as powerful as Franklin Richards basically, um, and then Speed is basically Quicksilver. Which is really weird, but you know we're not gonna we're gonna we're not gonna talk about how Scarlet Witch's brother's superpower ended up in her kid. We're not gonna talk about that, you know. <laughs> That's just gross, step bro. Fucking hate people. <sighs> okay. Um, but yeah, they, so essentially they do have children. And for those of you, you know, wondering how that whole, whole thing works, because, you know, because, you know, like, you know, if, you know, Vision, you know, for all we know, Vision is anatomically correct. <laughs> but, uh, he's, you know, he's still a robot. <laughs> he doesn't have the, you know, the Cobra doesn't have Venom, you know what I mean? 
I'm, I don't know how else to say it <laughs> without getting taken down. You know? That dog doesn't bark. You know what I mean? So, you know, people are probably wondering, like, how the fuck does that work? How do they have kids? Um, qu Quite simply, she wills it. You know, she, re she, she reformats reality to the point that they have kids. <laughs> Which is kind of why they both end up being mutants. And it's, the, it's pretty much the explanation for why her son has her brother's superpower. Because she just, you know, it's, it's her mutant genes that repeated and made a speedster and a reality warper as as her children but you know but you know oh, oh, oh god <sighs> yeah that's that and I don't know how they're gonna be so that's the thing show is going to end, and it's going to tie into Doctor Strange 2. But I don't... <laughs> I don't know, um... I don't know what they're going to, you know, what their fate is going to be at the end of the show. I don't know if they're going to be kept for future movies and shows and stuff like that or if they're just going to be you know Oh, a pinup, bruh. Thanks, Spider Man. <laughs> Is that it? Oh, Spider Web. Oh, these are, yeah, these are letters pages. Oh, a lot of letters. There we go. Okay, this is issue four. I think what we're going to do is we're going to... Dear God. Got ads, ads, ads. Let me tell you. And Ty is gone. Boom. Okay, there you go. Sandman is, is the villain of issue four. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to take a bit of a, a break from... Um... We're going to take a bit of a break from reading comics and we're going to go to this stuff. Um, so this was the post. You know, this was the post that I made on my Instagram today. This is a piece of art that I did. I shouldn't call it a piece of art. It's pretty. Yeah. Um, this is a. I called it a spread in my Instagram post. This is a spread of some drawings that I did of Spider-Gwen, my girlfriend, Becca. Um, me and her cosplay as, like, Peter Parker and Gwen Stacy. And, uh, well, I've cosplayed as Spider-Man for I've done Spider-Man stuff for, like, legit since I was 15. A little bit before that, too. Yeah, anyway, I've done stuff um, cosplay-wise as Spider-Man since I was 15. And then, you know, she started doing stuff as Spider-Gwen. You know, and then we eventually started dating. It was bound to happen. But, uh... Someone the other day, one of her friends, I guess, comment, complimented her and said, like, we have the perfect, like, Peter Parker, Mary Jane relationship. And, and I love... I love Becca's response so much. She was like, mm, we, you know... I kind of prefer Peter and Gwen because it's true. I hate MJ so much. Comic book MJ, at least. Like, 
616 engine. I hate her so much with a fiery fucking passion. I hate Mary Jane Watson. Ugh. And then the Maguire movies, like the Tommy Maguire Spider-Man movies, the Sam Raimi ones, I guess. I've never wanted a person in a movie to die as much as her. In, uh, I'm not... <laughs> I don't want to get into it. Spider-Man 3, I'm just going to say it. She's a fucking bitch. I hate her so much. She's awful. Spider-Man 3. And I know the whole point of Spider-Man 3 is like, well, you know, Peter wasn't you know, listening to what she wanted. Fuck you. Yeah, he fucking was. He was trying to, like, he was trying to take care of her, and she was always like, it's not about you. What about what I want? Oh. I'm sorry. I went off the handle there. Anyway, so I did this, you know, um, this art, this little spread or whatever about Spider-Gwen. And this is a suit design that I did when I made her her first Spider-Gwen costume. I made her her first. Um, I don't remember if it had boots like this, though. Should have. It probably didn't, though. We It was... It was very cheaply made. It wasn't that good. The the one, what yeah, there were a lot of things that I regret about making her costume, but it was still dope. I still have it. I sometimes wear the hoodie that I made because it's a sick fucking hoodie. I was so proud of how the puffy paint came out on the uh, on the logo on the chest logo. I'll have to wear it sometime. And yes, I wear my girlfriend's clothes. Take from that little bit of a tidbit of information, what you will. Anyway, so these are some, you know, characters, character designs and stuff. Um, from a, like, a potential, like, stupendous Spider-Gwen series that I was going to do, I wrote, like, two issues of it. It was pretty cool. We might, we might end up doing it when we're done, stupendous Spider-Man. Who knows? Who friggin' knows, my guy? Who knows? Anyway, so, yeah, I don't know. I can only do four. Like, I only figured I could do four. <laughs> I only thought of four characters, I guess, uh, to do in the spider Gwen style that I started here. Um, it's just a really, like, simplistic, like, very anime art style, I guess. Um, and, you know, if, if there's enough <laughs> intrigue to see what my spin on it would have been um we'll figure it out we'll do it <laughs> we'll we'll figure a way to do it sooner than in two years or whatever but the yeah the plan was just to do this as like a spin-off thing or whatever and we we wrote two episodes of it and then we went we're not sure if we like it as much there was some cool shit though there was some, definitely some cool stuff Oh no. Oh dear golly. Oh dear golly. You know what I'm realizing? Out of root beer. So for the first time ever, ladies, we're going to officially use the BRB sign.
Open it up in an elevator. Something else that I also noticed. Um, I don't have my hair color sheet at all. Loaded up. So I went and added a couple things. So I've got... Uh, I hate this drawing. I'm going to have to go back and do my Gwen design or whatever for my pitch to them. Officially, she looks so like it's like it's the outfit, but anyway, I have it literally just so I could do the shade of blonde hair that she has. And I didn't even color her in her teeth, bro. I didn't even, I fucked up <laughs> anyway. I have it literally there just to do her hair. All right, I'm gonna do we're gonna be like. Bruh, you're doing, if this is the Spider-Gwen art style, what's Peter Parker Spider-Man doing here? Well. 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 <laughs> Speaking of, why don't we do that one? It's only going to be like three colors. Four, if you technically count what we're doing for the webbing. So we're going to go at a size 25 brush, darker pencil. And we're just going to go in here, like, boop, and then, yump, yump. I always do my, like, I'm going to call them the vertical lines, but some of them do go horizontal and stuff like that. I just call them the vertical lines because it's the, the ones that... Uh, yeah. <laughs> whooshy, whooshy, guy. That one just... That's just kind of lucky. Uh, oh. oh, yeah. There we go, baby. What it looks like. To me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ooh, yeah. Boop, 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 boop. Three. There we go. Uh, you know what? Since this is, you know, <laughs> just gonna. Circle thing. Okay. So. Always good to double check. Favorite. I saw Spider Man. Mm hmm. I don't know who the character name is. I give an old voice to. Okay, there we go. We're. Fuck, we have to do these ones. Okay. Web shoot. Go flip. Pew, pew. Bra, bra. That's right, I watch Hamilton. I've watched it a lot. Um... Only because my girlfriend's a nut for that stuff. Okay. 
musicals, I mean, not history, more American. And we shut it down to 80. This is an old trick that I used to do way like fucking forever ago when I used an artist file. Um, I, I wanted to give the webs like a, a, like my own signature look. Um, and I would, I'd do that. I'd, I'd, you know, I'd draw them out. I'd ink them out black, the pen tool. And I'd set it so that they were kind of transparent so that the webs weren't actually black. They were just like a darker shade of red. I don't know. Or like a gray or... Kind of cool. I'm going to have to show off some of that for art sometime. I found my one of my old drawing books from high school. Hmm... I think that makes two now because I talked about one another stream. And then this one I found just last week, I think. It's so hard. My brain blurs a lot of days. The real hassle makes personal life a little rough some. But um But then I've got like stupid good memory with other shit and it's like why? Like why can't you help me? Remember the exact day I met some, you know, it's, but you can remember like, <laughs> like stupid shit of it. Um, Scarlet Witch and kid's name. I'm a, sh I'm a big old dummy. I mean, thick. Is my head going? I could do this. I could do that. My back is. No, bro. Oh my god. It's because I'm, like, I'm sitting up straight, but I'm also like arching my back. I don't know how to explain it, but you know. So yeah. If I hear one more person me about the whole coloring outside the lines thing because it's now a joke because i now that i've like cemented it as like yeah it's on purpose now everybody just brings it up okay what i'll usually do is all like for stupendous i went in and i added a a layer of white for this but since this is just going to be on white paper you know as the background here I'm not. You know, I just you know gotta gotta keep that area. Huh? Now we're just blue. I always do last because you can just do it under everything, and no matter what, if it's under the red, you won't see it. There's a pro tip. Pro tip from me, me to you, bruh. Hmm. Here's the thing. I have designed this Spider-Man suit before for the Spider-Gwen series that, like I said, we wrote two episodes for, and then we were like, it's not working. <laughs> it's not that it wasn't working, it's just we didn't, we didn't think there would be really a drive for it. The Stupendous wasn't even announced yet. We were getting ready to announce it. Um, but Stupendous, like, signature style is like the bright colors and stuff, I'd, I'd like to think. So why don't I go back here and why don't I just this is gonna be really if I actually manage to find this thinking of this exact one <sighs> nope it's not there what I'm doing right now is I'm looking for a um a very particular piece of fan art that I did. I'm gonna call it fan art, but it's it wasn't meant to be fan art. Way more, baby. Oh yeah. 
<laughs> oh, I think we found it. Oh, I just gotta... Yeah. Yeah, we found it. <laughs> I don't know... This might end up just being red and blue again anyway. Oh, loading file. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you see this? See this shit? Oh, these are, okay. That's a different shade of blue. Yeah, awesome. Okay, cool, cool. Oh, this is gonna look so dope. Okay. I wanted to look for, like, um, a more serious shade of the, you know, not just the blue blue, but go for, like, the, oh, that looks even cool. Doesn't that look cool? That's, like, the shading color for what gets used on, like, original Spider-Man. Like the ones that we're reading right now. Then this red. Do I want to go with this red? Or do I like this? Because this right now doesn't look bad. Try it. Give it the good old college try. It might be a bit too dark, I'm thinking. Mm. No, it's not bad. Good. Okay. Done. Boom. Why did I make our eyes here? Just white? Yeah, just white. Dope. That was a... That's the suit design that basically carried over into Stupendous. Like one of the very early versions of the end of suit was gonna look like. Okay. Okie dokie, boys and see something that I always always thought was cool, and then it ended up being an iconic thing for Spider Man, but it was never meant to be. Was um his eyes are meant to be silver, like, uh, not silver, well, yeah, silver. They're meant to be reflective, like, they're meant to be reflective lenses, so, like, sunglasses. Fuck, bruh. Oh. There we go. Anyway, his sunglass lenses, like, his, his lenses and his eyes are meant to be, like, silvery, and the reason that they're known as white in the comics was because it's meant to be like that's just how they drew like reflective shit or that's how they drew silver shit back in the day was they just did like a, a layer of white basically to show how shiny something was but then that it just became iconic to have white eyes inside of the black frames so it just became spider-man thing but no the you know silver not bad okay that's kind of cool i like that that's a cool design if there's enough hype for it, like, shit, man. We could do and the spider one. That could be a thing. There we go. There's uh, Spider Gwen style Spider Man. I think it's pretty. Okay, let's try another one. Let's do another character. Dope. If anybody knows who this is, if anybody read Spider Gwen after like, what is it, issue six? After issue six, like he shows up. Well, actually, he's he's there since issue like two, I think. Um, just he doesn't have you know that get up until issue six. I don't think. <sighs> okay. Let's see here. So this is obviously meant to be like Gwen Stacy, like this version of Gwen Stacy. You know, and I, I wanted to keep a consistent theme, like, because this version of Gwen Stacy, I don't like the version in Tremendous, heavily based off of Becca. And, um, 
well, okay, that's not the truth. So when Stacy, like in Spectacular Spider Man, is what I based uh, for Gwen and Stupendous Spider Man. But this version of Gwen Stacy, whenever I wrote an episode for Stupendous Spider Gwen, I based this Gwen off of a lot of girlfriend. So like kind of that like say it that kind of stoner vibe, <laughs> that stoner goth vibe. So I wanted to carry over that theme of like hoodies and you know that type of stuff into her costume, so that it made sense that it wasn't just meant to be like punk rocky ever that like there was like a clearly like a consistent reason why she has a hood on the spider gwen suit and i gave her a spider logo i designed this suit with a spider logo because i hated how the spider gwen costume like i love it so much it's super iconic now um yeah you know it's it's unique it's cool but i wanted it to like make sense why people called her Spider Woman, because the only thing objectively, you know, at face value of that makes Spider Gwen earn the title of like Spider is the web stuff. So, like the webbing on the underarm of her um, suit, and then the like the fact that she shoots webs. But I always wanted to give her like Ben, Ry ben Riley's kind of spider. Not. Is it Ben? I don't know. This one looks more like the... The one that I ended up going with looked more like the Andrew Garfield spider. With the longer limbs and stuff, like the lanky body. But it also kind of has a, like a Venom vibe now that I'm looking at it. <laughs> the one that I ended up um, putting on Becca's actual like cosplay suit that I made her was the spider from the Spider-Man PS4 suit. It just looked cool, you know? That's kind of one that's here. This one, yeah, it does. It has more like a Venom kind of vibe. That's kind of cool. Anyway. I have to go use the potty. <laughs> Sorry. TMI. But I have to go use the bathroom. So it's going to be another BRB. And then when I get back, we're going to color in one of these remaining three. All right. Be right back.
Okay. 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 <sighs> Sorry. The stream might not be as long as I'd like it to be tonight because apparently I'm a little sick. We're going to do some stuff until we can. No? Okay. Okie dokie, guys. Okie dokie. Who do we do? Who do we do next? Who do we give life? I still can't get over that Spider-Man design. That's actually so fucking dope. <laughs> You ever just like get eyelashes on your phone screen and then they're stuck there forever? Happen to me right now, boy. Uh, okay, that was a bit. Okay. I think we're going to end up. Go with <laughs> let's you know, let's go with it. All right. Let's do Gwen. We're gonna create a lot of layers because we keep track of which what so we're gonna keep creating layers until we finish the whole thing. Boy. Oh let's click on. Okay. Boy. Ba ba da. Ba 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 da ba ba. Ba 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 da. Ba da ba 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 da. Here we go. All we need for color. Go here. And we just. Gave her green. In in the comics, um, I don't even know. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. It seems more like a brown eye. Go with it because I went with it for in this one. Um, I went with reverse of whatever comic book her and Peter Parker's eyes have because. Peter Parker in the comics, I believe, has green eyes. Or he's, his bio says he has something like that. And then she's written as having blue eyes. And I thought it would be on it if I just flipped that around and I gave Gwen green eyes, whatever this color is, and then blue eyes. Because I have fairly blue eyes. And it just made it seem more, you know... Like, it was me finally getting to play Spider-Man. I always dream. I used to be more of a Batman fan, actually. Fun fact. Not really, it doesn't matter. But fun fact, I used to be more of a Batman fan. Spider-Man fan. Like, I grew up on uh, the 90s Spider-Man cartoon and stuff. I loved Spider-Man. It was just, Batman seemed more like my thing. Like, I had Lego Batman sets and games, and um, I had Batman toys, and I had up as Batman a couple years for Halloween and things like that. Like, you know, Batman was just shit, I guess. Got like I said, this version of Gwen is written to be like st 
stoner goth kind of vibe. I don't know how else to describe it. It's like stoner Gwen. Um, give her like this. Becca wears sweatpants. She does indeed. Could be real. Never mind, I'm not. with a dog inside of the hoodie, zippy, jacket, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Sweater. I hate that. There's there's sweaters, there's hoodies, and then there's zippies. And like all of them can be the same thing as each other and it sucks ass. <laughs> I hate it. So I just call like if it has a hood, it's a hoodie. I, whether it has a zipper in the front or not, it's a hoodie to me. Uh, okay. Up, uh, uh, give her, give her a blow, right? Ooh, I'm just realizing this now. In Stupendous Spider-Man, it's a big, like, hint that Gwen is a Batman fan. Um, because, like, in... I, I made a there, there's a post about it on Universe Instagram, um, like there's a shot of her reading like a Batman comic and stuff. Like she's a she's meant to be a Batman fan, and that's true to life because because a big <laughs> like as a big Batman fan, but she doesn't really like she doesn't really know a lot of Batman stuff, you know. That's cool. She knows enough to be like Batman is my guy. Batman was her guy for a long, long time. We always wanted to do a, um, like her as Batman and me as Spider Man, and we do like a team up photo shoot kind of thing. Um, so when the year came where I got to dress as Spider Man for Halloween, we wanted to make her Batman suit, and I designed it. <laughs> it was basically just, it was just Batwoman, because that's all it would have been anyway. But, you know, it would have just been a cool, like, inside joke that they fulfilled it, you know? We finally got Batman and Spider-Man to team up. Cool, because it was the best of friends teaming up as Batman and Spider-Man. Or Batman and Spider-Man, you know? There, that's the real, that's the real joke. That's the real reason why we had it. <laughs> I miss Bat. Is Batman and Pyro Man still going on? I feel like it ended, and I must just never watch the last episode. Okay, she, you know what? That's a pretty cool Gwen design. <laughs> it's it's unique. And then we'll give her just. But I don't want to give her white shoe. I don't know why I gave one white shoe. Well, I know why I gave Gwen. Give her this off white. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. Boom, boom. There we go. 
Gwen. Spider Gwen version of Gwen. Give us phone stuff. Okay. So yeah, next I think we're gonna Here's the thing though. In order to get his color palette, I'm gonna have to open a thing that's spoilery. So I might flash the BRB sign just to like block it from your guys's the spoiler first dependent Spider Man. So I'm just gonna do that real quick. Okay, we're back. Now there's no... I'm saying that now and I'm realizing that there's totally a thing that if you look close enough, you could definitely read it and guess. <laughs> and then that's a spoiler. I really like my girlfriend. Really like my girlfriend. That's it. That's all I gotta say. I like my. I like to hold her. Here we go. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say who. Who this is. I don't know, but like, <laughs> so here's the thing, the hit, coloring him is going to be interesting, I don't, I don't know what color palette is going to look Just see. If I had it in my head, I had it like looking at the palette that I had in my head drawing in a Sorry, my head is out of shot again. Maybe I just need to, like, adjust the angle. My head is on. Yes. That might just be what has to happen, man.
This is definitely not a final design for how this character would have looked. Um, if this does end up happening, this ends up being a fully realized concept that we end up going ahead and being like, yep, got the okay, let's do and a spider Gwen. Don't don't expect this guy looks thoroughly bad. Because the thing is, it could we could do it as a show, right? We could do it as a show, you know. That would be that. Art style is cool, it's super anime esque. It's got that kind of like Teen Titans ish vibe to it, like with the super expressive. But it can work as a comic too, so. We'll do a video where it's like a poll. I don't know. Maybe we'll do a poll sometime. We'll see how people respond to Steve in this first, and then see if anybody else wants to know what <laughs> what our like if anybody else has any vision or any any interest in what our vision for different stuff looks like. Hey, this isn't bad. I'm not hating this design as much as I thought I was going to. But definitely needs like some adjustment, but not horrible. Okay. There's some. Because this is meant to be more metally mask, fabric y. Get them all colored in now. Do I have a feeling that we're gonna stream early? You will see. Okay. All right. I'm I'm sure like anybody can assume who this is. If not, then that's totally cool. Um, black cat. I want to do a. I want to do a version of her in the when. I thought that would be cool. Be like an alternate version of black cat. No, excuse. Oh, that was a lot. <sighs> I've gone through all the range of emotions tonight. Well. Okay. So let's start with. main reason I thought it would have been cool to have a version of that in this year without that romantic intrigue that her and Spider-Man have actually like <laughs> you know good crime boss stuff um, constantly being like a an anti-hero on the side of Spider-Man most of the time. Um, 
So this would be like a genuine like villain or fight you're going to face off against. And I also wanted to do it instead of her having the the black hair, which is you know like a usual thing that she gets uh, depicted with the white hair, or when she's black hat, at least she gets depicted with it. Not she's like a when she's not black hat, she's usually depicted as just a blonde. Um, I wanted to give like Felicia like black hair <laughs> because I don't know. <laughs> it made sense. Color palette, pretty simple. Like, you know, pretty, pretty simple. in this boot. Okay. Marker. Dabble. Dabble. Run the brush. All. Hmm. Oh, I'm. Is it? Okay. Not bad, but like. Let me check something. My problem is that she looks a little bit too much like the stupendous work. Yeah, here we go. I'm remembering there's a... Yeah, here it is. It's from the 90s cartoon. Okay. There's a version of her with the, the white, like, the fluff trim by the gloves and the boots, and then it's just white boots. Take this off. <laughs> There's my eye. If I was to do this as a show after we I'd want all all to play that I'd want when like I, it would be all the same. There we go. Hey, I like that a lot. The 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 splash of white on her shoulder pads and for and stuff is is new. I like that. <laughs> there we have 
red now. How long have we been streaming for? Pretty much an hour. Pretty much two hours. Okay. I had to Snapchat my boss. I was. <laughs> These are cheesy poofs. We got cheesy poofs. Humpty Dumpty. I don't get why they're called Humpty Dumpty. Like the brand is old Dutch, but like. Cheese sticks aren't shaped like hump like eggs or anything, so why is it called Humpty Dumpty? I don't even get it, bro. I love them. Okay. I think we're gonna end it here. I'm gonna be honest. My stomach is a little Yeah, I think I am. I think we're going to end it right here. So, I like bringing it full cam when I, when I say my intros and my outros and stuff to you guys. This feels a little bit more personal. Okay, well, thank you guys so much for tuning in tonight. Uh, thanks for, you know, showing up at all. Or thanks for even watching. I really appreciate it. It's showing that there's clearly, like, I don't know, like, there's a reason to keep making these other than just enjoying myself, because these get a lot of views, a YouTube channel and stuff, which, you know, it, it helps me feel better about doing it and stuff. It's good to have that motivation. But yeah, thank you guys so much for showing up, watching. Uh, be sure to leave a like or a comment if you have any suggestions on topics, comics, or anything that you want us to cover or anything like that um, in future streams. Make sure you drop a like. Make sure you follow on Twitch. We're Comic Corner 667. It's all one word on Twitch. Um, and then make sure you subscribe to Area 667 on YouTube because that's where we post all these broadcasts and all these other different kinds of videos. And yeah, see you guys later later days. <laughs> I almost forgot. <laughs>